<laughs> Hi, wonderful people. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Tusa here. If you're new to Next Together, a massive welcome to you. This is a platform where we share skills, knowledge, and spread love all around. And if you're returning, sub, you've been holding it down. A massive, massive welcome back to you. Thank you for choosing this channel once again. You are very much loved and appreciated. Today, I'm sharing my insights on dishwashing with you. I must say, I'm not a professional dishwasher, nor am I marketing this cleaning agent at all. But what I am sharing with you is just from my experience and my knowledge of microbiology. One of the agents I'm using is a detergent with surfactant properties, which means it cuts through and disintegrates grease, thereby removing impurities and dirt on the surface. What that does is not only remove microbes that may be harmful, but to remove a habitable environment for them as well. While that's great and commendable, especially when looking out for our own health, it must be noted that some microbes, like anything else in life, will survive this detergent raid. <laughs> so um, that's where then my disinfectant will come in. Those stubborn microbes, then I have to expose to the disinfectant. There are several different disinfectants that we use in life. Some of them are hydrogen peroxide based, others are chlorine based. In this case, I'm using a chlorine based one. So in that case, then it goes deeper and disrupts the protective barrier created by these microorganisms. Once the barrier or the shield has been disrupted, then it's easier for the detergent and the disinfectant itself to go through and um, knock off these microorganisms which may be harmful to our health and the health of our loved ones. Even so, though we may have removed about 80 to 90 plus percent of these harmful microorganisms, there still will be some which will survive, which is why most of the time you find that scientists may not say 100% of something has been removed. They would rather say 99.999 to be safe because Look, nature is set up in a way such that there will be survival, whether anybody likes it or not, there will be survival. I just realized the weight of hope in that statement. Oh my days. What? <laughs> there will be survival. There will be survival. It's favored by nature in any case. So when I'm done with my dishes and crockery, I move over to my appliances, my cupboards, table, everything else, and just clean that up clean up clean up everybody clean up <laughs> note that i'm wearing gloves because the disinfectant may also be harmful to my skin we also need to be aware not to mix the disinfectant with other products as it may release dangerous gases microorganisms they are exactly that they are micro which means that we do not see them with our naked eyes but that does not negate the fact that they are there and they are there in masses, which is why it's important for us to clean up our surfaces. Because it doesn't matter how much you clean your spoon or your plate, the moment you place it onto a surface that's been infected with E. coli, for instance, or Shigella or Listeria, then we have a massive, massive problem. And we can avoid that by cleaning up our surfaces as much as we clean up our utensils. One more thing, I know that a whole lot of us use appliances like blenders, which are wonderful and they constitute some of the greatest innovations in the kitchen category. Please let us wash our blenders properly. There are rubbers at the very bottom which help seal up our blender so whatever we blend in does not spill. Those can become the best habitable places for harmful bacteria. Please wash out the rubbers properly and avoid sicknesses which can be avoided though i generally air dry my dishes sometimes when i'm in a hurry i'll dry off my pots with a dishcloth of which i need to also disinfect um, because i need to reduce the amount of microbial buildup onto the dishcloth so that it is not a transferal medium of microbes into my surfaces Clean spaces are awesome. They give clarity of mind and ease to the soul. Um, I still need to do cleaning of the floor, but this video has come to an end. As a microbiologist, I cannot leave this out. Not all microbes are harmful. To this end, I hope that this video has served its purpose, which is to share skills, share knowledge, and spread love all around. You're welcome to share with me in the comment section what you would like to see next, especially in the realm of microbiology. 
I thoroughly enjoyed making this video for you. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Most importantly, I enjoyed the sharing of the knowledge. Um, yeah, see you next time. What does God require of us but to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with God? Love you.